Uh, but we're going to be moving on to preprints. Uh, preprints are pre-publications. Uh, the idea with preprints is that if you say aren't able to get your work published in a peer-reviewed journal or you want to get your work out quickly, um, preprints are an excellent way of doing that. Make sure that you're checking with your peer-reviewed journal that you're targeting. Make sure that they allow for preprints, but a fair amount of them do. Most of them do, actually. Um, so in order to do that, I'm going to go to Home, and I'm going to do this drop-down button, and we can take a look at what preprints look like. Um, now, again, preprints are submitting a manuscript version of your project. Um, in order to submit a preprint, I have a couple of different options. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I can either submit here with this green button, sub submit a preprint, pretty obviously, or I can go up here at that top button of Add a Preprint, take you to the same link. Uh, now, this will give you kind of a similar process as you would see with a registration, where it'll give you a series of options in order to submit. Here we have services. Um, on the OSF, we have a ton of different uh, partners that we work with that are all discipline specific. So say you are a African researcher and you want to submit your work to um, a preprint service for African researchers, please use uh, African Archive. Um, but do check out some of these different uh, services as they kind of clientele uh, what audiences you're looking for. Uh, for files, you want to make sure uh, you are saving and continuing. Um, Upload a file from your computer. Um, in this case, I would just upload the COVID-19 documents. Um, author assertions, again, it doesn't like it if you don't actually fill out the full form, which is unfortunate. Um, author assertions, come on now. You're just gonna make me do this? Okay. Regardless, um, save and continue, let me continue onward. Uh, author assertions. So do I have public data available? This is uh, your ability to connect to an external source where you're storing your data. Again, creating those highways are highly important. Do you have a pre-registration? Did you pre-register on the OSF and you want to connect that to your preprint? This is how you're going to do it. Uh, take that link, make sure that you're posting in here and what that plan is. Uh, your basics, uh, you want to make sure that you label who the copyright holder is or who will be contacted if someone has questions about the copyright. Uh, did you already submit a peer-reviewed version of this? Is it already published? If that's the case, what you can do is you can take that DOI that was created and link it here. Uh, that gives the opportunity for anybody that finds your preprint to find the peer-reviewed publication version. Uh, adding keywords are a great way of making sure people find you in searches. Uh, adding an abstract helps them figure out what you're doing. Uh, disciplines, again, those are those filters that people are searching through when we were talking about in the beginning. Uh, authors, making sure that you are putting all the authors that are associated with your preprint on this service, uh, conflict of interest, any supplementary materials, again, connecting an OSF project is a great way of doing that for your preprints. Now, um, this, uh, because I'm submitting African Archive, they have different moderated services. Uh, Pre-moderation means that uh, mm, you will submit, it will be private, moderators will review it, and then they will release it when it becomes public. Um, uh, post moderation means that it'll immediately become public and then moderators will look at it and decide whether they want to keep it on their service. And all I would do from there is click this green button down at the bottom that says submit preprint. Mm -hmm.